All right, let's take a look at this new update for the C-Star. Looks like there's some exciting new features. Notably, it's adding support for the C-Star S30 Pro. I'm expecting it to be announced in early 2026, and it will feature improved optics and camera sensors over the C-Star S30. But what I'm really excited about in this update is expert mode, being edited to stargazing. Excited to see what that offers, as well as DBE being added to the adjust tools. It stands for dynamic background extraction and is used to remove gradients from your image caused by light pollution or moon glow. In addition to that, we're getting some handy new quality of life features in the other focus on darker switch and planning, as well as close arm on completion, uh, being able to set time lapse duration setting and device switch disconnect on home. All right, let's dig in. All right. I'm going to go into stargazing mode and take a look at M31. Okay, tips are new. Uh, for deep sky photography, avoid city light while possible. Good advice. It's a lot of tips. Uh, so I can stop getting tips. No. All right, let's look for expert mode. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so it unlocks uh, additional exposure settings, including 60 second exposures in LTS mode. It's interesting. And move some options from advanced options into stargazing. So that is. Pretty handy. I'm not sure I would call that expert mode, but it is a feature enhancement. Uh, drop to 10 seconds. Is that uh, it is super windy outside right now. Um, I don't expect to get any usable images uh, tonight, but I didn't want to get this video out as quickly as I could. So let's start stacking and hope I can get enough uh, frame stacked to try the dynamic background extraction. Um, in fact, I probably should have dropped it two second uh, exposures as windy as it is. Yeah, you can see the wind is really messing with my subs. My stars are uh, moon shaped. All right, let's take a look at I like background extraction. It's probably not going to be great with so little data, but let's take a look. Okay, turn it on. Let's see, when enabled, automatically extracts the background using a balanced model. Create more even brightness, enhance target visibility, and reduce light pollution effects. Yeah, it's going back and forth. I would say that works pretty well. Given that the entire background of the image right now is M31, it's probably not the best target to use this feature on, but it does illustrate its effects uh, quickly in a short amount of exposure. Cool. Uh, that's a pretty nice feature. All right, let's, all right, let's take a look at the new plan options. Hit on plan and you can find them in settings. So we can Toggle autofocus on target switch and close arm on completion uh, for all plans. Um, as you can see the warning here, uh, it's definitely recommended to close arm on completion uh, unless uh, you're using a dew shield accessory or something else that would prevent the arm from closing. All right, now let's take a look at time lapse duration. Go to Jupiter. All right, there is Jupiter, that's four moons. Take a look at time-lapse, and you can see over in the corner here, we have a clock with a settings icon. And so for each time-lapse frame or interval, we can set between one second, two seconds, up to a minute, and determine the total time-lapse duration. So there you go. 
So those are the major new features in this update. I think that it's a, it's a good update, gives us some good new features. I think I am uh, most excited about the dynamic background extraction added to the, to the adjust tools. And uh, expert mode and stargazing is a nice addition. I don't think it's as big as the dynamic background extraction. But the ability to do two or five second exposures, um, I think definitely is a nice option for certain targets or certain conditions.